Just hours ago, family and friends of the surfer who died last weekend riding the waves in Del Mar gathered to remember him as only surfers know how. 10 News reporter Riel Creighton joins us live at Cardiff by the Sea where Rob Leard's tribute was held. Riel? And Itika, although we know that Laird went down in the ocean, it's still not exactly clear even a week later how he died. But for the friends and family who came out here tonight, they were choosing to celebrate how he lived. We are all here to celebrate his life and to pay tribute to, to a great, great man. With his blonde hair and laid-back attitude, family members say Rob Laird was a gentle giant. He was just a fabulous young man, non-judgmental. Uh, just a sweetheart of a guy. The kind of guy, says his uncle David Allen, who lived for life on the beach, life in the water. The surfing is, it was a huge part of Rob's life, a huge part of Rob's life, like almost every day. It was last Saturday Laird was surfing at Del Mar Beach when he fell into the water. Rescuers tried to revive him, but he never came back. Now nearly a week to the day he died. You ready? Yeah. 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 Allen says this was so perfect for Rob, a floating memorial. Family and friends on the sand passed out lays, and some of the dozens who showed up wore them to paddle out into the waves to celebrate, honor, and remember the lifelong surfer who they say would have loved this. Now, family says the medical examiner, as we told you earlier, is still stumped on his death, but they say it was not a drowning. Others have told 10 News that Laird did suffer from seizures. His family says they've been asked to donate his brain to research. We're live at Cardiff by the Sea tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.